Hey, here we go, guys. Mick here from Cartel. Back on the Kick Ass Beer Review. Going to review the latest counterculture, Stone and Wood. Uh, the spicy margarita sour. 7% ABV, 500ml can, 2.8 stand drinks. Hailing out of Boron Bay once again. Uh, the latest release. Counterculture strikes again. What spicy queen, you ask? She'll be asking the questions around here. Like, are you ready for the fourth instalment in the Queen series? Uh, for those who uh, are on the subscription in the beer club, um, who have received previous ones, know that um, it is one of the most sought after um, beers from the counterculture releases. So um, everyone loves the, uh, the Killer Queens um, or the Queen series. Um, yeah, so the fourth instalment, uh, not content with being a spicy margarita, Spicy Queen kicked, screamed and removed all in her path until she became a beer. Uh, packed full of uh, chili de abel, uh, lime zest, pineapple juice, this is a no holds barred version of the Queen. Ready or not, the Queen is back. Uh, going to pour it up into my Tempest 2 glass, uh, my preferred glass for sours. Uh, I was going to hold back, I'm off to Queensland pretty soon, I was going to take these with me, hold back and um, try them once I get up there and do do a video um, um, in different situation, different set of spun the camera, this will actually, we're looking at the other side of the the, um, the cave here, um, normally we're looking at um, the opposite side, um, but I've put the camera in another position, um, so yes, I'm, I guess you could say I'm in a different place. Oh, wow. Straight up, the aroma's leaped out of the glass. Out of the can, I should say. We'll get it poured up. Oh, that's looking juicy. Nice colour for a sour. Good carbonation. Very hissy. Very bubbly. Effervescence um, in for the smell. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, margarita. Picking up a bit of spice on the aroma. Definitely picking up the margarita and the pineapple. Those tones of margarita, those, those aromas of margarita come across really nice. Top that one up. Um, looks fantastic in the glass. That is pretty much what it looks like under very low light. All my lighting in the garage when the cave here is on the other side. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm sort of in a, a dark area here with the uh, background lit up. It's sort of what I wanted for this one. Um, Oh, that smells amazing. Mmm. In for a taste. I'm sort of picking up a ginger vibe as well. It's got that ginger ale, sort of ginger beer aroma about it. Taste. Very cocktail like which what you expect not picking up a lot of heat uh, which is probably a good thing I mean you don't want it to be too sort of the heat to be too overbearing the aroma um, like a lot of the sours from counterculture the aroma is huge compared to the flavor so it's it's still sort of got that real dry um, um, kettle sour type uh, vibe going on. <clears throat> I'm very reminiscent of the uh, the Tequila Queen. Was it the Tequila Queen? From memory.
I'm pretty sure there was a tequila queen. Sure there was. We interrupt this kick-ass beer review to bring you advertising for Juco Wizards. Juco Wizards is an independent mobile detailer operating out of Newcastle. We cover areas of Newcastle, Port Stephens, Central Coast. So if you're in the market for any of those sorts of services with your vehicles, please contact Juco Wizards. All contact details will be at the end of this broadcast. So yes, my research tells me there was a Tequila Queen. And the only can I don't actually have up there on the can wall was the Tequila Queen. I do remember um, having it. And um, it might have been some of those cans that I didn't keep. Uh, every now and then I sort of clean them out and get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, very reminiscent of the te Tequila Queen. Um, Once again, it's not exactly a sessionable beer um, um, due to the fact that I think um, you can't really session out on sours. It's it's more of that sort of beer that you want to have in a in a paddle, um, just something to clean the palate or cleanse the palate um, as your progression through different styles. Um, for me, look, I love what these guys are doing. I love that they throw so many different um, varieties of um, beers into the into the um, into the club, and we get beers like this. Um, always good to get something different, uh, but not in a, not in a consecutive orders where we get these types of beers, these styles of beers coming through um, one after the other. Sort of gets a bit monotonous. Um, once again, yes, it's a, it's not something I can enjoy. I, I have to share it. It's not a 500 mil can, just for me type beer. Mm. I think I'd have to share this particular beer, um, and that's why I say it's more suited to um, a beer paddle or a, a beer paddle uh, pellet, um, you know, tasting tasting um, paddle. I think when they, I'm picking up a bit of chilli now, I think when they do send, I think maybe sending out two different beers when it comes to something like this would suit me a whole lot more. I'm not sure about the other members of the club. Um, I haven't seen a lot of feedback on this particular beer. Uh, it seems to be slow going out um, on this round. The updates once again, I'm really enjoying the fact that these guys are giving us continual updates as the beers moving through the postal system that was been really good that happened on the last one um, which was the um, the, uh, the what was it the petrol hop that was it um, that was such a nice beer that had some really good feedback Sun starting to poke through a couple of those um, those holes up there. That was a really good beer, um, and that's what we need. We need, we need sort of that variety coming through. I hope there's not another sour coming after this. It seems to be maybe they're doing it because they're doing a sour, and they're they're pumping through what they can in the system before they go back to doing a rigorous clean um, and making sure that they can brew. Um, 
the next series of beers without having too many issues with bugs and um, cross contamination with with um, ongoing brewing. Don't know what their train of thought is when they do it. They've done it for a bit there. We had we had multiple sours coming through um, and um, cultured sort of beers, uh, and it got a little bit too much for some people, but. Always good to try something different. Um, yes, they've nailed it. I think they've got that spicy margarita planted quite well into this sour beer. I'd really like to get some more flavour out of it, but it is what it is. Um, and I think the fact that it's balanced um, is basically what's going to sell the beer uh, the best. Would I buy more? Yes, I'd buy more. Yes, I would buy more if I had to share it with someone. Um, maybe just have it sitting there in the fridge ready for a time when I feel like a sour. Guess that may be another point too. Unless you really feel like it, um, you're not going to get into the beer. But it is good. It's um, certainly everything that the can says. Cheers.